Hey guys, Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com here, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about and share with you my thoughts on Adobe's Creative Cloud and this whole Creative Cloud fiasco, Adobe renting software, blah, 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 and what exactly I think about it. And I'll kind of just tell you right now, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I think progress has begun, but they've really stopped short of the real progress. And let me sort of explain why. I don't, my biggest problem is I don't think Adobe should have the ability to yank software from you simply because you can't make a payment. I much prefer being able to buy the software up front, having to somehow come up with money to buy the software, and having the peace of mind of knowing the software is always there. See, because when you can no longer pay for your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you not only lose the application, but in losing the application, you lose access to those files that you created with that application. That's a huge problem. That's a huge problem for a struggling small business, for a hobbyist, for an amateur photographer, all these different people who bought into early versions of Photoshop and either haven't had the money or just haven't had the interest in upgrading. So I think that's a really, really big issue. And I think it's more than just a, hey, practically it's inconvenient. I think there's a problem in forcing people, once they've bought into a system, to pay this monthly subscription. And if they can't, you're able to yank not only the tool, but access to artwork that they've created and that they own using that tool that you sold them. So I think it's a real serious problem here that Adobe needs to address. And that's the primary reason that I really don't like currently how the Creative Cloud is functioning. Now beyond that, a lot of people are talking about the price, the price, the price, it's not cheaper. It isn't cheaper. Um, Adobe, they, they try to spin it and make it sound like it's cheaper. Plain and simple, it's not cheaper. It's just not. If you bought Adobe CS2 or 3 or 4 or 5 and haven't upgraded since then, even at the very cheapest rate, it's going to cost you more money to have the Creative Cloud subscription even for a single app, let's say, than just buying that single app you know, six or seven years ago and just owning it outright, and then being able to own it into perpetuity. So it's not cheaper, it's just not. Now, to start out, yes, it is cheaper, and this is where I think Creative Cloud is great. I think it's gonna help young designers, young photographers, students, struggling business owners, to at least get their foot in the door for at least a couple months. But the problem is still the fact that you never actually own that software. So while I think it's great to have the subscription-based model, so people can get their foot in the door, it would really be nice if after a certain amount of time paying that subscription, you could at least request that you stop receiving updates maybe, or that Adobe, you know, cut the subscription and I can just own this version of Photoshop, you know, at some break point, you know, a, a CC version one or something, and be able to hang on to that after whatever it is, six, 12, 24, 36 months of paying, you know, 20 bucks a month. I don't know, Adobe could figure that out. But the point is, if Adobe always can yank the software from you because you can't pay the rent that you're paying for the license, you lose access to the application and therefore lose access to all of your files that you've created as well. And there's never the peace of mind of just saying, I bought that software 10 years ago and I still have it on my computer and I can open up anything I want in it still today. So for me, that's the biggest issue. You can throw price out the window. Small businesses can work the price into cost of doing business. For the most part, I think people can find a way to make it work 20 bucks a month, really for a college student. Yes, it's a lot, but it's going to be easier than fronting, you know, $6.99 or $1,000 to buy Photoshop outright, of course. But again, I'm looking at it in the grand scheme of things. There's no way to package one or two apps, at least not right now that I know of. So you can just pay, you know, 30 bucks a month and get two apps. It's either the one app at 20 bucks a month, really, or what, 50 or $60 a month for the whole slew of apps. Well, if I only want Photoshop and Illustrator, I'm being forced to have access to all of this stuff that I don't want just because Adobe thinks it's good for me to have access to it. That's not right either. Uh, in, in my weekly podcast that I do with Howard Pinsky, the Howard and Nathan Show, you can check it out on Google+, Plus, follow us on Twitter, and you'll see all of the information there. But on the very first episode of that show, uh, when I'm talking about the creative cloud, I mention a quote by Robert Heinlein in the book, The Moon is a Dark Mistress, where he says, there's no greater tyranny than to force a man to pay for something that he doesn't want simply because you think it's good for him. And that's what Adobe's done here. They've cornered the marketplace. They've monopolized this proprietary file type, the PSD, the .ai, of the, what is the AE for After Effects and you know InDesign files and everything else. And you need to use, for the most part, you need to use their editors in order to access and really be able to edit these files. So in doing that, Adobe is really sort of corralling everybody into this subscription-based model where ultimately they have control. Really the thing that I'm more concerned about when it comes to price is not the initial price going in, but the fact that once you buy into CC, once you buy into the subscription model, you have no control over the price 
thereafter. If Adobe raises the price, what are you going to do? Stop paying? Well, then you lose access to your app and all the files as well. Not to mention the discrepancies in foreign pricing. Europeans are getting charged way more than Americans for the same bunch of products and the same applications. So I think there's a lot of issues with it. What I wish Adobe would do is take into consideration the great idea that a student or a small business, when I was 12 years old, if I could get Photoshop for 20 bucks a month, I would have gone crazy. But if I can never own it beyond that, especially as a small business owner, to me that's a huge deal and almost a deal breaker. So I, I wish Adobe would look at it and think, all right, maybe there's some way that we can rent to own you know, after, like I said, 12, 24, 36 months, whatever, that application that you started paying for, well, now guess what? Hey, you own it. You don't have to upgrade all the time if you don't want, but you're not going to get all those snazzy new upgrades that everybody else is getting. Hey, fine. If I was living with CS4 for four, five, six years, I can probably live with CC at whatever version it is. I don't need all the new gimmicky features. I don't need every aspect of the online cloud-based services that Adobe offers. Give me a meaty version of Photoshop. Give me a raw tool set that I can use to create the images and the graphics that I use. I don't need the gimmicks. I need the powerful, cutting-edge tools that are lodged within Photoshop that allow me to do what I do. Masking, curves, adjustment layers, sharpening, that kind of stuff. I don't need content-aware fill or shake reduction or the oil paint filter. Give me the good stuff and let me choose how I'm paying for this, you know, Adobe can dictate the price, but let me choose how I'm paying for it. So again, I think Adobe's moving in a good direction, but I really hope they don't just stop here with this rental, license rental nonsense, but rather that they would take a step further and say, okay, so we've, we've taken a step in the right direction, now we're gonna kind of complete the step through the doorway. And I'd be okay with that. Let us be able to purchase and own the software and give us that peace of mind. If nothing else, give us that peace of mind. So that in a nutshell is what I think about Adobe CC and the Creative Cloud in general. So feel free to leave a comment or two on this article, on this video on YouTube, like the video and go ahead and share it with your friends and just tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about CC. You love it, you hate it, you probably hate it. Most people seem to hate it. But I wanna hear what you have to say, I wanna see your comments or if you think that I'm totally out of line, feel free to tear me to pieces. So that's it, guys. Make sure you go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com for other information and tutorials and pretty much anything Photoshop, photography, or web design related I try to post over there. So I'll catch you guys later.